Hello friends, what's up? It's Tova. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe out there. Today's video is actually pretty interesting. I've never really done a video like this before. We are going to be doing a Q&A while also packing orders from today's launch. So launch day went amazing. I decided to do a Mother's Day sale, so buy one, get one. 25% off on any of the I'm so grateful for you items. I thought it'd be very sweet if you gifted your mom or your motherly figure. I'm so grateful for you sweater just to express your gratitude for your mom but also to match with your mom I think I don't know I just think that's so cute so that's where the majority of the sales came from today we also had some new items like a new and improved manifest that shiz I don't want to swear on here because ads we revamped that design and yeah i also have some pre-orders that i'm packing today so we we have like 70 orders and i'm pumped about it i don't think i'll pack all 70 today but i will be doing quite a bit while i answer some questions that you guys asked on my instagram of like all business stuff but before we do get into it i did want to say that today's video is actually sponsored by the udi if you guys don't know what the udi is i'm going to show you right now <laughs> basically the udi is like a giant blanket hoodie. It is so comfortable. I love it so much. <laughs> and they were so nice to give me a code to allow you guys to get $35 off from your next order. So if you use the code, it's TOA35, then you can save $35 at checkout. You know, I, I didn't know how much I would like need something like this. I was like, yeah, I want it. But like, I don't know how much I would need it. But after getting it in the mail, I'm like, no, I needed this. <laughs> Anyways, back to the video. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull up the questions here on my phone and the order is on my iPad, and we're gonna get to work. Okay, I have no clue how this is gonna go because I feel like I'm actually not that good at multitasking, but we're gonna see uh, how well I can do. Okay, let's get the first order started for us. So our first order is for Taylor, and she got a pre-ordered Grateful For You Violet in extra, extra large. The very first question asked is, how'd you get started with Reborn Club? So Reborn Club was actually something that was supposed to start as like merch for my Instagram. So I had a fitness Instagram that now is just called Life with Tove because I don't really post the fitness content anymore. Originally, it was just merch. So I wanted to have a couple sayings on it. And I didn't really think anything else of it. But I did a pre-order and immediately with my pre-order, it did so well. Like I got 20 orders or something. And that's, I feel like that's incredible for like your very first sale or your very first launch. I decided to make like an Instagram for it. I started noticing like more and more people like wanted, they wanted to buy stuff. So that's when I it clicked and I was like, okay, I'm gonna set up a website because at that time I was just taking everything via DMs and it was just exhausting to do that. So I started up a website and then I was like, whatever, let's just do this. Let's just get the ball rolling. And I ended up making more and more designs and I came out with the I'm so grateful for you design and I remember buying like literally two of each size being like so scared to put down like a couple hundred dollars um, in the inventory I didn't think anyone would buy it turns out it sold out immediately like on launch day and I was flabbergasted to say the least and that's kind of the story like that's how I just got into the business it wasn't on purpose it was supposed to be merch and the merch just turned into like my full-time job. And I'm definitely not mad about it at all. Taylor also got a manifest that shiz <laughs> sage green tea in extra extra large. These are our new releases. They're very, very cute. Here is Taylor's order. Putting the packaged on YouTube sticker on these ones and for all the pre-orders I actually ended up printing all the shipping labels just to make my life easier and to put all the pre-ordered orders on priority so Taylor's order is now done. I'm just gonna point you guys down a little bit lower so you can see more of what I'm doing. All right okay the next order is for Emily and she got a pre-ordered violet hoodie in large. Next question is how did you figure out how to price all of your stock? Which is actually a really good question. So I'll just blatantly say that I think my prices are too low. I just made them up when I first started, not thinking about like my margins or profit or, or anything really. I was just like, this looks like a fair price for a hoodie and let's just do it. But the more I did my research after putting out my prices, I realized that my prices are actually very low, like $45 Canadian for a locally printed and like small business made hoodie is very affordable. <laughs> you won't see that price in a lot of places, mostly because 
first and foremost, USD is like the primary currency. So $45 Canadian is even cheaper in US. And most companies that are similar to mine that are in America are charging at least $60 US, meaning like $70 Canadian for a hoodie. And I understand that because I think $45 Canadian for me is very hard for me to actually have good margins. I would say like, look at your competitors and do your research. I just went to like Forever 21 the other day and they were charging $45 for literally just a plain hoodie. And that's a big box retail store and I'm a small business and I'm charging the same like that is an issue That being said, I would definitely do your research see what other brands are charging and also Check your prices like what are your costs like if you price your hoodie at blank amount like will you still make a decent profit like also keep in mind like not just the like the cost of the hoodie like the cost of freight and customs and packaging materials and advertising like after all those things have deducted like are you still making money or not definitely keep all of those things in mind when you're pricing your items so here is emily's order all right, the next question is, will you be restocking the energy collection? I still have some energy collection stuff in stock. I will gradually like restock other colors and stuff. So yeah, the energy collection will be in stock for the most part in the summer. Let me know what colors you're looking for or what items. The next order is for Joelle. And Joelle got Grateful For You hoodie in violet and a breezy playlist sticker. The breezy sticker is a sticker in remembrance of my really good friend who passed away and all the proceeds from that sticker just goes straight to cancer research. Thank you so much to anyone who orders that sticker. That really means a lot to me, given you probably don't know who it is and you're just doing it because you have a very kind heart. I really appreciate it. Here is the medium hoodie. The next question is not a question, but I love your brand. I live in my Amsterdam Grateful For You hoodie and I'm always complimented in it. That makes me so happy, especially when you guys tell me that you guys get complimented in it. If I can like help you have conversation starters and stuff, then I am very happy. <laughs> okay, here is Joelle's order. This is the sticker, by the way. The breezy sticker. The next question is, how do you handle criticism? I'd like to say pretty well, because I worked in customer service. like. In every job before this one so i feel like i kind of gained like thicker skin however i still think it's very hard to hear and i don't think that you should completely turn off criticism like you know like just ignore it because i think some criticism is actually really really good and you can learn from a lot of criticism kind of like go into it with an open mind and realize like some people are just giving you constructive criticism because they think it's helpful, like they want to help you from the bottom of their heart. And I think I just always think about it that way, that they're not doing it with ill intention. But I think the best thing I could say is like, know what you are and like your business. Like I'm fully confident in Reborn Club, but I'm also very open to hearing suggestions and constructive criticism. If someone's going to be blatantly rude, then fine, that's a whole different thing. No matter how hard it is, I think you should be very open to criticism because you never know how it might help. All right, the next order is for Desiree and she got two items, extra, extra large Grateful For You Violet hoodie and an extra, extra large Baby Blue Grateful For You hoodie. So let's grab those items. The blue and purple are so fucking nice together. Okay, the next question is, did you prefer making your clothing or do you prefer having someone else make it for you? A thousand percent, I prefer someone else making it for me. This so much better and you can allocate your time into actually growing your business like if i had to make each and every single one of these hoodies i would have no time to actually like make tiktoks or like be on social media or advertise my company because i'd be so busy making the actual items the best decision i made was literally just handing that job off to a professional that way you know that your items are professionally made also you get all that time to focus on something else on a different way to grow your business yeah i a thousand percent prefer someone else making my clothing as long as you trust that person they will be your holy grail <laughs> basically here is her order Look at our new stickers. They're so nice with the violet hoodie. Alright, here is Desiree's order. 
I wonder if I keep this light on if it's better. Just like a little bit more yellow light, but it's okay. I feel like it is a little bit dark. Okay, let's do Cheyenne's. She got a lot of items. Uh, so give me one second because she ordered a couple weeks ago and then she ordered again today and we're just combining all of her orders together. She got a uh, Grateful Free Violet and Extra Extra Large, which is right here. And then a Grateful For You light blue t-shirt and Extra Extra Large, which is right here. These t-shirts are so soft. Grateful For You Baby Blue and Extra Extra Large, which is right here. Oh my God, look how cute this is. And a Manifest That Shiz t-shirt, both in cream and in sage and Extra Extra Large. Here is the sage and here is the cream. Oh my, what a beautiful order. Okay, let's package this all up. And while we do that, the next question, which is, when did you register your business? Did you start selling before you registered? Yes, I started selling before I registered. I registered my business, that's a good question. I think in March or April, and I started my business in February. So I, I think it was actually more like April. When I first started my business, I, I, like I said, I was like doing it for merch almost. So like, I didn't think about it in any like long-term way at all. So yeah, I didn't register it. In Ontario, it costs $60 to register it, but each province, it differs how much it costs to register your business. I would say do it. Like, I don't think it made a very big difference registering my business. It just like registered my name. But definitely register for an HST number and a business number. Your GST, HST, whatever, that number and your business number are very important. Registering your business, I don't think it made a very big difference. It was basically when I started ordering inventory from like more specific wholesalers, not just like the basic ones. Those wholesalers needed you to provide your business number or your registration number. That's what rushed me to do it. Cheyenne has ordered from us eight times already. She is so nice and she actually lives down the road from me. This is her order. All right, Cheyenne's order is done. Okay, I'm actually deciding to turn this off because I think I like the cool lighting better. I was watching back some of the clips and <laughs> I just don't like the look of harsh lighting. I don't know, that's just me. Our next order is for Mallory. Mallory left a sweet note. She said, I watch you on YouTube and you were so inspiring to me, which is very sweet. Thank you so much, Mallory. We got a pre-ordered Grateful Free Violet in extra large which is right here. Okay, next question. How do you handle the stress of your business? I'm not gonna lie, like having a business at times has been so incredibly stressful. I've like wanted to quit. I'll be honest, like I've been, I've, I've just been like, this is way past my pay grade and this is, this is difficult. I didn't sign up for this. But each and every time I have to remember what my why is. Like, why did I even start this? Like, why did I even continue, you know? All these people have supported me. Why, why do they support me? Why do I have people coming back to order like 12 times from me? And I think that's what gets me through and always like knowing like you never know what your next move is gonna be. Like you never know what might pop off, who might wear your thing next. You just never know. And I think that always motivates me to keep going. But business stress is hard. And if you're feeling it, I suggest you take a break. Like, especially if you're your own boss, take a freaking break. It's better you take a break when you start feeling things get stressful than getting it, like letting it get way too stressful. Oh my God. And feeling, and then feeling burnt out. Because for a lot of people, once things like hit a certain level, that's it, they turn off, you know? Like I know a lot of people that once they let things go too far, they're turned off from it completely and they're done. Um, and you don't wanna get to that point because you decide not to take a break. So if things are getting really stressful for you in your business, take a freaking break, day off social media, stop comparing yourself to, to others, focus on yourself, do some journaling and intrinsic work. I promise you, it will pass but always know something good is going to happen. Something good is on its way and you'll never know that if you quit. All right, here is Mallory's order. The next question is any tips or advice for shipping? How 
to do cover oh maybe how do you cover the cost of shipping internationally that's a really good question we're going to pack libby's order while we do that libby got very for you hat and sky a cool crew neck and cream and a large violet hoodie so let's set up a box first on each order i pay extra shipping there is literally no order that i haven't pitched anywhere from like 10 cents to 10 dollars i pitch money <laughs> on shipping on every single order uh however with that being said if you're based in canada there are some options i can help you with international orders for instance third-party couriers i use chit chats i've also used stallion express and both of them have been really helpful when it comes to international shipping i would not be able to ship to america for as cheap as i do if it wasn't for those third-party couriers let alone just America, but also Canada, <laughs> like within Canada. Third-party couriers are your best friends, so definitely scout and see if they have any third-party couriers within the location that you are in. Uh, also, for instance, like USPS or Canada Post, as an example. If you just walk into Canada Post and pay for a shipping rate, I'm telling you right now, you are getting ripped off. You are paying the highest of the highest amount. Same with USPS. If you just walk in there and pay, you know, you're like, okay, let me weigh this. Like, this is what I need to buy a post label for you're getting ripped off just find some kind of third party or like some kind of like shipping service like click ship which uses like a bunch of different couriers or like ship station <laughs> e shipper and you will get a small discount but no matter what you do just don't walk into the post office and pay for shipping because that is like the most expensive rate you're gonna get if you're worried about your shipping prices being too high like you don't want to charge like 15 dollars for shipping because you think it'll turn people away then put it in your pricing of your items <laughs> like add an extra two dollars to your garden which is something I wish I kind of did but add an extra two dollars and that two dollars can be like put into your shipping price like if you charge ten dollars for shipping but shipping is like twelve dollars charge ten dollars for shipping and then you know the extra two dollars you can hide in your hoodie or in your shirt or your jewelry or your candle business and then it kind of goes up you know what I mean these are all things that I wish I thought about before I started my business anyways ladies order <laughs> here is the large grateful for you hoodie here is the medium, you're extremely cool, crew neck in cream, which is so cute. And here is the Grateful For You hat in sky. I did promise her a pin, because she was on my live, so thank you card sticker, and let's get her a pin. Throw that in. Here is her order, so cute! Here is Libby's order. Next order is for Becky. Grateful for you, Violet and Large. Here is the large. Next question is, how would you approach influencers to share your products? This one is kind of tricky because it's kind of like hard <laughs> if you're not paying them, right? So like, I've never paid an influencer to share my products. I just send them a DM and I'm casually like, hey, I'd love to send you like our best-selling grateful for you hoodie or like i'd love to send you blah 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 i think you'd rock it or i think you'd love it or something like that and most of the time they'll answer and they'll just be like yeah i would love that and some of them don't post it and some of them do that's kind of like the risk you get when you send to influencers and you're not paying them if you're paying them that's a completely different story i think like micro influencers and stuff some of them will be perfectly fine with just doing like a product exchange collaboration so you could just lay down the rules and just say hey i want to send you a grateful for you hoodie in exchange for one feed post and one instagram story post or something like that so that's kind of how i would word it i haven't ever done that before i've just sent like a dm just saying that and if you send it to the right influencers, I promise, like, they'll post. If they like the product, they'll post it. They might not tag you, but they'll still post it. <laughs> and if you catch it, then you can you can repost them and say, oh, blah, 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 and wearing blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Here is Becky's order. I love the name Becky. It's almost like a fake name, but I would love to be named Becky. Next order is for Joy. 
and Joy got a uh, grateful for you, violet hoodie and extra large, and a hat and butter. I'm kind of curious, like, if I can actually fit a hoodie in this. I'll try and fit a hoodie in this. Okay. I think I would just, like, fold it like this. Here's the hat and butter. What do you guys think? I mean, I think it looks okay. <laughs> oh, our next question is, uh, do you keep your supplier tags on your shirt, like the brand of the shirt? No, <laughs> I don't. I did hear someone say one time that if you take off that stuff, uh, it's like illegal or I don't know if she said illegal, but she was like, it's just not right. I don't know. Uh, but I do take I do take it off just so I can brand it in my own way. Do you believe that there's a hoodie in this? Like, it's pretty cool. Next order is for Hudson. Hudson left such a sweet note. They said that they're obsessed with the hoodie and they're excited to get this. Keep working hard. Thank you so much, Hudson. Hudson got the Grateful For You Violet in medium. All right, the next question is, do you prefer email marketing over SMS marketing? I used to, but baby, let me tell you, now that I'm on that SMS marketing game, I am never going back. SMS marketing, if you aren't using it, you're sleeping and you need to start using it. I used to be addicted to email marketing because obviously like you can like make it in your own way, design it way more than you could design a text message. However, the analytics, like SMS marketing to win it. Every launch I'll still send out an email, but I feel like I don't have to put as much effort into it. Here's Hudson's order. Next order is for Jay. They're from Australia. They got a medium grateful free violet hoodie and enjoy the now tote bag. Here is the medium violet hoodie and here is our tote. The next question is, when did you start to notice growth in your business? Ooh, that one's kind of tricky. I think I started to notice growth in June, like almost six months into starting my business. That's when I started to notice real growth. That's when I made my very first five-figure month. I would say some people get lucky and they'll start seeing growth like right away. Now that I'm a year into business, I think my growth is steady, but I would like to see like it skyrocket like it did in June of 2021. That was when I had like a TikTok go viral. You just never know when that's gonna happen. Uh, the next question is tips to get your first sales. I think it's really important to show that your brand is credible from the beginning. Like when I first started my business, I didn't charge shipping on anything. I like tried to get as many local orders as I possibly could and I drove I drove to every single house, <laughs> like no matter, like, I drove like two hours to drop off a freaking package just because I wanted to make the whole process easy. You just order, shipping is free. I just dropped it off, they'd get it, you know, the same week. And I would also ask them to post on their story. Posting on their story allowed me to repost it on my brand's Instagram, it allowed me to create like a highlight reel on my Instagram to show credibility. I think, especially if you're starting an e-commerce business, a lot of people have trust issues. They think a lot of things are scams. And I think it's very important to build that credibility and like customer trust from the very beginning. And also to make it easy for someone. Like if your website is hard to navigate through, like it's unattractive. So main priority, oh, we just got a sale. Your main priority is to make the whole buying process easy for someone, for them to go on your Instagram page and know exactly what you're selling, for them to go on your TikTok and know exactly what they're selling, for them to go on your website and know exactly how to buy something. Social media can change your life, like especially TikTok. So give it a chance, post consistently, be consistent with your brand in general. Even if it means annoying people by posting it on and on and on, you just don't want people to forget who you are, what you sell, you want to stay relevant. That's how I think I got my first sales. <laughs> All right, next order is for Kira, a medium violet hoodie. The next question is how does pre-order work? I don't think the way I do my pre-order now is, how a lot of people do their pre-order it because you can actually use an app for pre-orders and I don't do that. What I do when I pre-order something, when I see it's selling well is I'll make sure that there's a lot of inventory on the website that I like buy the hoodies in bulk from and then I'll just like put every single quantity to like 
20. I'll let a day pass and I'll see how many people bought the pre-ordered items and then I'll place an order and like usually buy 10 more of what is already purchased. Um, and then I'll close the pre-order a couple days after. Does that make sense? So like when I started my business, I just did pre-orders via DM. So I would just gather all the orders, make everyone e-transfer me first, and then I would purchase the blanks, make them, and then send them out all in two weeks. That's kind of how my pre-order worked before I had a website. But I'm telling you right now, there's a lot easier ways for you to do it. You can use an app like a Shopify integrated app and it would be easier, so. Okay, I think that is all the questions I'm gonna answer for today because I feel like I've just talked a lot already. But if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments down below. I'm gonna lower you and I'm just gonna do like a packing only focus view. So you can just like pack with me. This next order is for McKenna. McKenna got an extra, extra large hoodie and violet and a hat and sky. Order is for Nicole. She got medium baby pink grief free hoodie. Next order is for Juliana, and Juliana got an I Love Your Energy Forest Green Crinic in large. Next order is for Lauren, and Lauren got a medium grateful for you white t-shirt. The next order is for Leah. I wrote a nice note. She said, hi Tova, I just want to say that I love your YouTube channel. It's so satisfying to watch you pack everyone's order. I hope you have a great day. I love you. I love you too. That's so nice. And I hope you're watching this right now. Leah got a small... Cool crew in cream. Next order is for Olivia, who got a grateful for you hat in butter. Next order is for Brooke, who also got a medium grateful for you white tea. Right, that was the last one I had a shipping label printed for, so let's print some more shipping labels and continue to package more orders. <laughs> Alright, I thought we could finish up and package a little bit more orders, but also going on TikTok Live at the same time. I might just silence this portion of the vlog just so you don't have to like hear me on TikTok Live, but I did want to give the chance for people who like maybe want to see their order packed on YouTube to have that there. So that's why I'm doing both or else I would have just gone on TikTok. <laughs> Let's do this. I always get nervous before TikTok Live because like I don't know what it's gonna be. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's the next day and I completely forgot to end this YouTube video. Um, after packing yesterday, 
like the last clip that you saw of me packing i continued to pack probably for like another hour after that i was grumpy for sure because i was packing for like four or five hours straight all up until like 8 p.m um my back was hurting and i was Tired. This morning I finished packing some more orders and I went to the post office already. Uh, I think I took some photos so I'll pop them up on the screen to show you guys like how all my orders look like. It was epic and I'm so grateful like for how successful this launch was. But yeah, that's the video. So going back to the whole purpose of the video which is the Q&A. If you guys do have any more questions just leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Or if you have like video ideas of things you want me to cover also just leave a comment down below and I'll try to help in some way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos of mine and so we can become friends and i'll see you again sometime soon this is our inventory we're completely sold out of the tan grateful hoodies we only have a couple blue <laughs> literally a few of the violet everything sold really well anyways i'll see you again sometime soon and don't forget to stay cool peace